Okay, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a ejection component of the homemade recovery system. Um, first I went to Walmart and got this uh, truck bungee. Um, it has a little ball on it, but I cut that off um, to use the, uh, the, el the elastic inside. Um, and then I got a 7 16 dowel. Um, it was a lot longer because I already made the component I'm going to show you. Um, all I did was cut a hole through the center of it. Um, make sure you don't drill too big or else it'll be flimsy and it'll break. Um, and then you take, uh, I use Christmas paper, um, paper towel tube and you cut it to the size of the, uh, the rocket that you're making. Um, this is the one that we're, uh, that we're doing right now. We're using the uh, K450 engine um, from Inverse Engineering. Um, anyways, it's a uh, very simple, uh, very easy to make. Took me about 45 minutes to an hour to do. Um, you cut your cut your tube down to size. Um, put some wood. Um, I use balsa wood and cut cut a hole just a little bit bigger than your than your dowel that you're using to uh, for for guidance. Um, same thing on the top here, and then the plunger. Glue that on the top of the center. Um, you want it to be able to push. This is the nose cone that we're using. Um, but you want it to be able to push it out uh, nice and even, so you get a clean, clean ejection. Um, but uh, basically, all you're going to do is drill the hole all the way through, throughout the other side, and wrap, wrap the bungee through there, and pull it down. I, uh, I hot glued it and wrapped it with masking tape um, to ensure that it didn't come apart. Um, then you're going to put a a baby eye hook down here. You can get that at your local hardware store, Lowe's, or Walmart should probably have them too. Um, <clears throat> which is going to then attach to the top of your homemade engine, um, most likely a KNO3 sugar R candy. Um, and that will go to your your burn tube, and you can use. See, I got this one here. Uh, you can put fishing line through. And just drill a hole, put fishing line through there, and this will be at the top of the engine, um, so that you get your delay. And it'll burn up and then burn the fishing line that's holding onto the eye hook, and then once it lets go, it'll pop it out like that. So. That's pretty much it for the uh, ejection component for a homemade rocket.